Sorry, Jack, I wasn't noticing. A mail plane just got through, and I was looking at the news. Oh, that's the first newspaper I've seen in three weeks. It's not hard to guess what you're thinking. No, I guess not. Say, Wayne, will you come on in and speak to the general for me? Are you kidding? He speaks your language, you know that. Oh, of course I know it, but it's only common courtesy to address him in his own language. Well, my Chinese is not so good, especially for this speech. I suppose I'll have to. But I hope he says no. boy. Tell His Excellency, I just read the news. Explain that I think my place is home with my own people, if it can be arranged. Captain Martin, Seng Fan Hui Kuko Pun Ko, Go Asun Ta, Go Deng Xia Da Kui Lei Hoi. Ai Me? Mei Kok Chong Gan Hoi Chong. Nei Hang Pei Yen Qing Kui Lei Hoi Ma. Mo Fa Kie? Gan Man Go Hai, Captain Martin Go Fong. Nei Nang Pei Go Chong Chi Dang Wei Pei Kui. The general agrees that even though we can't afford to lose you, your place is with your own people. He will send your official discharge to your quarters tonight. Tell His Excellency how grateful I am. It is not necessary, my son. It is for me to thank you for all you have done for myself and for my people. Thank you, sir. I figured it'd be you, finding it a little harder to pull out than you expected. Yeah. So it seems as though half of me belongs here with your people. I know, because half of me belongs over there with your people. <laughs> Let's cut it out way before I change my mind. Would you bring my discharge? Mm -hmm. Here's a little something to remember us by. It was my brother's. Thanks, Wayne. Ah, uh, before you know it, we'll both be laughing this whole mess off. Probably back in the States somewhere, putting a couple of crates through their paces at some broken-down county fair. It will be a long time before the Chinese will be able to laugh off what has happened. The needless misery, the slaughter, the barbarism. Yeah, I know. I could travel no further, Martin Sahib. Why, it's Ram Lau. You know him? Well, sure. It's Tommy Thompson's number one boy. Come on, help me get him over to the bed. Yeah, he and Tommy disappeared a couple of months ago. No one's heard from him since. <clears throat> Better get some water. This poor old boy's really been through the mill. Wonder what happened to Tommy. I think he's coming too now. I am sorry, Sahib. After a moment's rest, I shall be going. Oh, not tonight. You're not in any shape to travel. I must. I have a message from Thompson Sahib for his sister. Important. No, no, no. You just lie there and rest. I'll find Miss Thompson. Wait. Try and get some food into him. Clear broth, I think, would be the best. And take care of those wounds. Right, Jack. I'll be back in a half an hour with Miss Thompson. I must apologize for my tea service, but the recent bombings have played havoc with my china work. You're lucky. I haven't any left at all. You know, I don't understand your brother leaving you here alone while he runs around the country on his own. Oh, I I don't mind, really. It's not as dangerous as most people believe. As for my brother, when he gets off on one of his exploring expeditions, I doubt whether he even knows there's a war going on. Hey, 
Is Miss Thompson at home? Why, Jack, how nice. Hello, Janet. Miss Miller, you know Captain Martin, I believe. <laughs> well, not in person. But I have written up a number of his exploits in the air service. Oh, then you must be the Miss Miller of the syndicated press. How do you do? Now, how about some tea? Tea? Oh, no. <laughs> no, thanks. I really came here, Janet, to take you away for a while. If Miss Miller will excuse you. Before we finished our tea, don't be silly. Janet, this is important. Ramlal's at my house, too weak to come here. Ramlal? Back from Endon? Is my brother with him? No, but he brought a message from him. Just a moment, I'll get a wrap. If you'll excuse me, Trudy, I... Of course, run along. I'll finish my tea and have the maid call a rickshaw. Sorry to break in this way, Miss Miller, but really Don't it's... Don't give it a thought. I understand perfectly. Right. If there's anything I can do to help, don't forget to call on me. Thanks, Trudy. Good night. Good night. Good night. I ought to tell you what's the back of all this. Well, don't, unless you think I ought to know. I do. Tommy said if things went wrong, I should tell you, and it's usually as they have. Hola. Hito. Yes. To make things clear, I ought to tell you that Tommy's in the Australian Intelligence Service. I suspected as much, but I wasn't sure. Well, he is. Ramla is in the Hindu service. Two months ago, they left on the most dangerous assignment they'd ever tackled. Oh? What was it? Ever hear of a place called Mandan? Yes. Yes, it's a little isolated province against the Himalaya Mountains. Why? Well, Ramla unearthed an old legend about Mandan. The story is that there's a secret route through the mountains from China to India. A secret route to India? I would give China another lifeline. Exactly. Yeah, but what if the Japs found out about that road and got control of it? Wouldn't they march straight through to India? Certainly. That's why Tommy and Ramla flew to into Mandan, in order to beat them to it. Boy, oh boy, they've really been playing with dynamite. I had begun to think you had forgotten the path to my humble door. It might have been better for you if I had. I may have to report that you have failed your country and the black samurai. So, in what way may I ask? Have I not urged you to send agents to Mandan to find their secret route to India? And have I not explained that agents could accomplish nothing against that wild mountain tribe? When Japan gets ready to invade India, we shall send an army into Mandan and force the secret from them. Not if our enemies get control of it first. Our enemies do not even know there is such a route. The British do. Why do you think the British know? When Thompson and Ram Lal left Chongqing last month, they went to Mandan, as I suspected. There's no harm done. Uh, they're foreigners. They'll never reach Mandan alive. But they did reach Mandan. The Hindu returned here tonight. Do you know whether they learned the way to the road itself? If they have, the black samurai will demand your life, Kagyama. I'll have a report on it within the hour. 
I came as soon as I heard, Renlo. Food and rest are all I need, Mansayev. Jack says you have word of my brother. Is he well? He is in Mandan, a prisoner and wounded. I escaped and came out to send him help. Tommy will get help, all right. We have to fly it to him ourselves. Is he seriously hurt? That I do not know. I have been six weeks returning. May I speak freely before your friends? Yes, Rebel. We learn part of what we went after. The legend is true. There is a secret route to India. Did you find the route itself? No, ma'am, sir. It was when they learned what we were after, that they imprisoned us. Gee, it sounds as if those Mandanese are as tough as I heard they were. They want no traffic with the world. That is why they are keeping the route to India secret. Only two living men know where it lies. Who are they? Maybe they will tell the secret to save China. After all, they are Chinese. They are men of great trust. One of them is the... <laughs> Hurt. If we can only... Hey, Wing, look at this. The sign of the Black Samurai. The first member we've ever taken alive. The Black Samurai? What's that? An espionage ring of Japanese nobles. Controlled by the most dangerous spy in the Orient. Yeah, what's his name? It's not a man. It's a woman called Fräulein von Teufel. Fräulein von Teufel? Why, that's German. We don't know her. All we know is that she is ruthless, even with her own agents. If one of them fails, the penalty is Harakiri. Better have these men take them to headquarters. Maybe we can make them talk. We can try, but there's not much chance. Allah, you put your hula. Harakiri. That's why we never take any of them alive. We've got to report this to the general. It's getting pretty late, Jack. We'd better wait till morning. We can't afford to wait. Why, the spy that killed Ram Lau probably heard everything he said about the secret route to India. Yes, I suppose he must have. Of course he did. If I know anything about the Japs, they won't wait. They'll have men on the way to Madam within a few hours. Please. What, as you suspected, Fräulein von Teufel? Ram Lal and Thompson did go to Mandan. Did they find out about the secret route to India? Only that there is such a route. They could not locate the entrance. Then they know no more than we do. Not quite as much, Fräulein. I killed Ram Lal before he could name the two men who know how to reach it. Good. There's other news that is not good. What is it? Yagashi was arrested helping me escape. The Chinese would recognize the sign of the black samurai. And act at once to get the man in secret ahead of the Japanese. We must act first. Contact our army headquarters. Contact no one. We must not trust this message to the air. It might be intercepted. Slip down river to our lines. Make a full report and have them send a plane to Mandan at once. Not one plane, 50 at least. Kayama seems to forget it is I who give orders here. It is the Fräulein who forgets. The black samurai is Japanese. It is a division of Axis espionage and takes its orders from Berlin through me. Send five men to Mandan. Let them pretend to be Chinese on a peaceful mission. They are to get the secret or bring back the governor a prisoner. we will send help into your brother. Thank you, sir. We must also get the secret of the Mandan route. It is vital. 
I'd like to volunteer to lead the squadron in, Your Excellency. There will be no squadron. Only one plane, a private one. But, Your Excellency, one plane can't do much. Mandan is far from the seat of war, but they are Chinese. I would not question their loyalty by a threat of force. Captain Wing, you will go as special envoy to act for China. Suggest the governor pay me an official visit. The airplane will be ready to leave Su Chung Airport at dawn tomorrow. But, Your Excellency, the Japs are bound to send in some troops. You must reach Mandan first and avoid the Japanese on the way back. Yes, sir. Now I have letters to prepare. Wing, I'll meet you at the airport. Right. Hello. Who are you? I've been war at your service. Where's Captain Wing? Regret to say the general changed plans. Send me a substitute for Captain Wing. You have the general's letters, I suppose. And here, if you care to inspect. No, if you have them, that's all that's necessary. Well, I guess we'd better shove off. Take controls now. No, thanks. I'm enjoying it. I say I take controls now. Better do as he says, Jack. You're a very intelligent young lady. Please take over while Captain Bell is out. Never mind, shoot. You won't need it. Open door. Quickly. I haven't all day. Close me up, yay. Close me up, yay, let's be quick. Clever people, these Japanese, but they ought to learn pig Latin. You have been chosen because you can all pass for Chinese. Captain Yoshodo will be in charge. Koshimi will act as envoy. Pretend to be on a peaceful mission, but bring back the Mandan secret if you have to kill the entire governor's staff. what to do if the Chinese are in Mandan ahead of us. They won't be. Kagiyama promised. Kagiyama never fails. The down dress out of these canyons must be terrific. They are. Better put your shoot on. Any idea how far we are from Mendon? Well, if 
My reckoning is right. We're almost there. Smoke. Yeah, I've been noticing it too. Take over, Janet. <laughs> 